Hi guys, Nikola Radin Way podcast number 55, this time from a little bit exotic place. We are here in Greece. Some of you know that uh, during the summertime I work with the dolphins. And today in this podcast I have two exceptional guests. They are fantastic professionals. They are also my dear friends. Uh, on the left side there is a psychologist one of the pioneers of the dolphin therapy worldwide and he is also the owner of the dolphin swim that organized the dolphin therapy mostly for the children with special needs. On my right side there is Robert Goicheta, he is a coordinator of Dolphinarium here in Greece, in Athens. He is also a coordinator of um, all, actually, am I right, of all uh, Dolphinariums in Europe in a certain way. Not, not the, the Dolphinarium itself, but more the population. The population, the of, population of, 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 of marine animal. mammals. Yeah, yeah. Robert Goicheta. Uh, for you who don't know, um, uh, Norbert is, is from Austria, uh, Robert is from Belgium, I'm from Serbia, so English is not our mother tongue. Uh, therefore, if we make some linguistic uh, mistakes, you guys are going to forget us that. Uh, I'm going to start with Norbert, with whom I worked together already for more than 10 years and uh, we have a magnificent actually work together all these all these times. He became a close friend of mine and um, Norbert, I would ask you actually for someone who doesn't know what is a dolphin therapy or what is a dolphin assisted, assisted therapy, uh, can you explain that for the beginning, maybe only in a few sentences, what is the basic of that relatively young discipline in a therapeutic work? Well, uh, dolphin assisted therapy is an uh, animal assisted therapy where the dolphin plays a key role in the uh, therapeutic process. Um, in the setting of dolphin assisted therapy consists of uh, a therapist, a human therapist, a, a trained dolphin, um, a dolphin trainer, uh, he, is a per or he or she is a person who looks after the dolphin during the interaction and, of course, the client. And uh, for dolphin-assisted therapy, it is required that um, uh, the human therapist uh, is not only um, a person with a therapeutic background, but that he also or she also has a specific expertise um, uh, to be able to work um, together with a dolphin. Mm -hmm. uh, what is actually the therapy, um, in your point of view, what is, the, what is the, the, the group of the people that benefit the most out of the dolphin therapy? What are the diagnoses actually that you have found in all these years that you're doing a dolphin assisted therapy that profit the most from this kind of therapy? Well, dolphin assisted therapy became famous um, uh, as an effective um, intervention for people uh, um, with autism. Mm -hmm. So I would say that this is the most uh, predominant group uh, that um, um, can benefit from this, uh, from this therapy. But we also encounter uh, children, teenagers and adults with um, a, a very big variety of other um, disorders, um, mental, physical, uh, of physical nature, um, a very big group that uh, we also welcome in our program are uh, people uh, with um, um, spastic um, um, syndromes. Yes, and like various kinds of cerebral palsy. Exactly, and, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. And so uh, it is not limited to, uh, to, to, to people with autism. Um, um, it's also people with also developmental uh, disorders, mm -hmm. de developmental delays. Um, and um, uh, from, from my experience, um, dolphin assisted therapy is especially powerful uh, for people with mild and intermediate um, disabilities. disabilities. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, you have tried to work, uh, so to say, with the people um, that are already grown up, um, that have had a certain kind of post-traumatic syndrome, um, etc., etc. Um, is this also a group that is interesting for, uh, for dolphin therapy? Are there also a certain um, ways to help the people? Or you think that is really specific only for the children and, and, and adolescents? Yes. As a matter of fact, um, uh, we um, included um, happily uh, welcomed uh, also people who 
um, uh, have uh, experienced a burnout, for example. Yeah, burnout um, syndrome. It's yeah. a very um, 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 widely spread uh, um, mm -hmm. um, uh, problem nowadays. And uh, with the burnout, um, uh, the work with the dolphin um, uh, look, uh, seemed to be very successful in a combination with the counseling process. Mm -hmm. So uh, burnout, uh, I have uh, gathered quite uh, some experience. And also we, uh, um, I worked with people with um, post-traumatic uh, stress, mm -hmm. uh, sin uh, with a post-traumatic stress syndrome. Um, uh, and there I, we, the, we were also, I mean, the clients were also satisfied uh, uh, with their experience. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are going to come back later to particular experiences that you have had. But now, uh, somehow to, to, to make a bridge to Robert, what is your um, personal experience with dolphins? Because I think the people, the, generally the humans are so interested in a species of dolphins and you're doing it almost for the two decades now. Um, so that means you have spent a lot of times with these animals. What is your uh, contact? What is your opinion about the dolphins as a species, as our, so to say, co-workers or helpers in this kind of therapy? Well, uh, of course, I'm a huge dolphin lover yeah. and um, I, I got into this job because of my love for these animals mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, my own experience with the dolphins um, and emotional experience with the, with the dolphins um, uh, right in the beginning actually took me into this job. Mm -hmm. and, um, and um, it never became um, uh, boring to me. I think yeah. the dolphins are, um, are incredibly in uh, intelligent. They, they, they have the capacity to um, attract um, the attention and also the emotion of us humans. That's mm -hmm. why uh, they are so famous and all yeah. people love them. And, um, and um, uh, this uh, never this 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 never wears off. Even if you work with them for twenty years, they they can still surprise you, mm -hmm. and uh, they they can still teach you something. So this yes, is, yeah. And another another huge um, uh, dolphin dolphin lover is a director of the dolphinarium here, uh, Robert Goicheta, our friend, who is. Um, already for 30 years, I think, in the, right, Robert? Nearly, nearly, nearly 30, 30 nearly years. Nearly 30. Yes, I started a, back working then with the dolphins. 1992, so it's 1992. nearly 70. So yes, yes here, here we go. And uh, you started also out of the big passion. You told me once that you have um, had as, as a child already that passion to, to marine mammals, yeah, and yeah. especially for the dolphins, it's and true. that you have planned basically your career already uh, as, as a young, Man, right? Definitely. How did it start it and how do you become I what have, you are today? I have, I think I started to have patience for this animal when I was seven years old. I, it's very difficult for me to remember exactly what was the starting point. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it Flipper, the dolphin, the, the, the TV show from the 60s? I was a fan of it, probably. I, I had the possibility to visit few dolphinarium already back then. I don't know, this animal was fascinating me and, yeah. uh, and I wanted to to see them more I wanted to know more I wanted to learn about them so I started first by buying book back then we didn't have internet so we were just going to the library we were reading book we were watching documentary on TV already and then I wanted to see them alive so I went to visiting a zoo aquarium that they were having them I was I had the chance also to see them in their natural environment which was an amazing experience and you just want to know more and more and more and more and at some point you say well I would like to work with them uh, this is really how, how the whole thing started and it was a long process that, that bring me to them uh, but I was really determined to do to do this and uh, it was not easy you know when you are outside of this world how can you do that job you know I should I be a biologist? Should I be a veterinarian? Should mm -hmm. I be an oceanographer? Should what? What should I do to do that? Yeah. And it was we didn't have tool to understand how to step in, how to today nowadays if someone wants to start this career, it's much more easy. You know, you mm -hmm. just go on the web and there is possibility. Back then, no, 
So you really had to move and to be a bit boring, you know, with people knocking on the door, you know, I really want to do it. You know, I would like to do that. I would like to do that and please help me. And if you are determined, so at some points you met the right person at the right moment. And then the opportunity is given. And then you just, it just, it's a completely new world that opened to me, uh, which was a dream for so many years. Who gave you first that opportunity? I had the luck to start working with those animals, marine mammals. I would not say dolphins. Yes. I started working with uh, pinnipeds first, sea lions. Seals. Sea lions, yeah. And I started in a park in Belgium, which mm -hmm. was a small park. I, I just didn't stay, didn't long time there, but it was a very important place for me because it was the starting of everything. And uh, the owner of that place, still a friend, mm -hmm. and uh, he's really the guy who, who gave me the chance. And he said, okay, now I open the door for you now go to make your story and this is what i did and from there i move in several country uh, all over the world working in different places and uh, up to now we're arriving in greece already nine years ago yeah taking care of this facility those animals and uh, and i still love it of course I you still do love yeah. It. yeah and you're taking amazing care about the dolphins you know i have been also in so many dolphinariums in 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 in, in my life and uh, here in, in, in Attica, we have nine dolphins. They are in fantastic shape. They are really very well treated animals, also your sea lions. Uh, and I think this is, this is really beautiful uh, because you can feel here that you and your team, you're giving really your best for all these animals. Well, it has to be. I mean, we, we, we have, there is an ethical question here. Dolphins are not made to live in such an environment. Okay. Yes. Uh, but they adapt it to it very, very well. I mm -hmm. think that's why, because they are really adaptable animal that they can live in under human care. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we should always keep in mind is at the moment that you place in a facility like this, they are absolutely totally dependent on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything, the quality of the water, the food, the, their companion that will come, that will go. Uh, mm -hmm the activity that you do, everything is depending on you. It's an enormous responsibility. Of and course. you have to take it very seriously because then you, you it's not a job that, uh, oh, it's four o'clock, my day is over, I go home, yeah. I don't think anymore about it. You go home, we have, of course, a schedule like everybody has, but you live dolphin 24 seven. Yes. That's for sure. Uh, and, 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 it's not and you only, think of them all the time, actually, yeah, also when you're off. Not, I don't think it's only related to the dolphin. Here we are in a zoo, you know, we have 2,000 animals and mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of zookeeper here. We have elephant, cats, birds, reptiles and everything. And everybody in charge of his animals. When you keep animal under human care and you decide to work with them, you really have to have a predisposition of uh, re a big respect for them. But it's not a, it's not a job you say, well, today I don't want. Yeah, you, you can't do that. To. Of course, we are a team, so we balance each other when sure. we are tired because we are human. Sure. But, um, but it's a nice job. I mean, working with animals, live animal and dolphin especially, it's, you don't see them more, anymore like animals. After yes. they become colleagues, yeah. they, yes. because they work with you, they, they, you... And they, have all, they all have a specific characteristics and all, characters. All, all different. They're each, all different, each, totally. Each, yeah. each one of them. And that's why. That's why it's nice yeah. because if it was so easy, if they were all the same, it was all mechanical. I would yes. say it's even boring. Yes. <laughs> for them and for us. Yes. But the fact is, you never know what will happen with them. You can anticipate it. You can imagine it. Yes. But it's every day a surprise. Mm -hmm.